Today we're taking a look at the 2018 Nissan Altima S model. Now in this video we're going to be covering all the standard features offered in the Nissan Altima before upgrading to a higher trim level or before optioning out any packages. So if you're wondering whether the bare bones base Altima is perfect for you, stay tuned. So let's go ahead and start it off by taking a quick look around the vehicle. Uh, if you're familiar with the 2017 uh, the design has not changed much. Uh, it is practically, from the outside, uh, it is practically uh, still the same car. Now, what has changed for 2018 is uh, the availability of mo uh, more technology now being standard on the most base form. This, from the outside, is a really attractive vehicle. Uh, it was refreshed for the 2016 model year and has kept that design going so far. Um, so, for starters, you, what you might have noticed is standard, uh, is these uh, automatic headlights. So, whether you're going under a bridge or in the nighttime, you don't have to worry about actually turning on the headlights yourself. They're going to automatically turn on depending on the lighting on, on the outside of the vehicle. Aside from that, you're also going to notice you have 16-inch steel wheels. Uh, with Nissan genuine steel cover uh, wheel covers. Now, uh, keep in mind that there is optional alloy wheels if you so decide to get them. But on the base model itself, there's uh, standard 16-inch uh, steel wheels with optional on the base model alloy wheels. Now, one of the uh, biggest uh, standard features here on the on the 18 model uh, that's a really huge huge improvement and something that. Uh, really nice that Nissan actually included now even on its base form is the addition of uh, automatic emergency braking as well as forward collision warning so automatic emergency braking is going to do um, if it detects a collision is imminent it will actually automatically uh, uh, press the brakes for you to either lessen the collision or maybe even stop it completely as well as warning you before it actually gets on that so if you want to intervene yourself the car is actually going to start warning you uh setting flashes and lights to make sure you actually don't hit anybody in front of you so that's part of the reason why the ultima has a really incredible crash tested rating best in class crash tested rating as well as best in class gas mileage and speaking of the gas mileage on the nissan ultima for 2018 you're looking at 27 city 39 miles to the gallon highway Again, best in class for a mid-sized vehicle that is non-hybrid. So remember, you're getting incredible gas mileage on a non-hybrid vehicle. So you don't have to option out to a more uh, crazy expensive hybrid model. You actually get a really good gas mileage on, in its base form. Aside from that, one thing you're going to start to notice, you have also an available standard rear camera, which is going to be hidden right over there. They don't notice it too much from the back, but... Uh, just put the car in reverse, camera will turn on and you see everything behind you. Now the interior again largely remained unchanged for the 2017 model year uh, but there are a few key features added that we're going to go over once we actually move on to the inside. Um, now since we're on the outside let's go ahead and hop, uh, pop open the hood and uh, talk about the features there. Now under the hood you have Nissan's famous QR25DE four-cylinder engine. Uh, it's a similar engine that you would find in uh, the Nissan Rogue uh, Pathfinder Hybrid and many other vehicles. Uh, it is well known for one huge reason, the reliability. It has been in over 1 million cars so far and counting. Uh, it's one of Nissan's most reliable engines. Now getting to the specs of it, in this application you're looking at 179 horsepower uh, coupled with the CVT automatic transmission. So all of the Nissan's Ultima come with an automatic transmission. There's no um, a stick shift offered in the Nissan Altima so again most US buyers don't actually care for a stick shift so you can rest assured knowing that your Altima is gonna have an automatic transmission you don't have to worry about getting any options to get an automatic transmission now since we're under the hood I also want to take one quick second to uh, point out that underneath this all Nissan actually has an active grill shutter so what that does to improve aerodynamic efficiency when you're cruising on the highway to actually shut the shut the the the, the grill guard uh, to prevent air from going in and slowing down the vehicle and promoting air efficiency. Now when the engine starts start to get hot, again it will open right up, let air in to cool down the engine. But when it is not needed, it will improve efficiency by actually uh, closing the grill shutter itself. You have electric assisted power steering, so. 
it draws less power on the actual engine uh, by using the electronics to actually help you steer and improve uh, fuel economy. Now, since we talked about uh, safety a little bit uh, earlier, I did want to quickly point out that part of the also uh, part of the reason why the Nissan Altima has the best in class five star overall cross test rating is it even comes down to what uh, is offered in the door. So you actually have steel door guards that run along the sides of the vehicle for a side impact it will actually uh, really help you out in, in preventing a vehicle from actually crashing into you and going through the door and hitting yourself. So again, a lot of safety features, forward emergency braking, uh, cross-testing, uh, uh, a lot of airbags all around the vehicle. So let's go ahead and hop inside. Well, actually, excuse me, before we actually hop inside, uh, you may not notice it. Uh, it's not very uh, easy to see through the steel wheels itself, but Nissan also does include uh, di uh, disc brakes all around. So you actually have vented disc brake in the front solid disc brakes in the back. So there's no drum brakes available on the Nissan Altima. So again, uh, disc brakes are known for the reliability and able to stop a vehicle faster and, than um, a traditional drum brake. And speaking of brakes, you also have uh, anti-lock braking system, which is gonna prevent the wheels from, the brakes from locking and uh, when under hard braking, to make sure that you're still able to steer as you're braking. Now, one of the main features, one of the more popular features in the Nissan Altima is this, is Nissan's famous Intelligent Key that we see here. So with the Intelligent Key, all you really have to do, you don't have to actually press the button, is press one button here. You can actually lock the doors, unlock the doors, and it'll also prevent you from actually locking the door, the key inside the, inside the vehicle by accident. So let's go ahead and move inside. Um, on the standard base model, of course, you do have six-way manual adjusting seats. You can move it up, down, adjust it back, and put the seat uh, closer or further if you want to. Let's go up inside really quick. So just taking a quick second to observe around the vehicle, but you're going to notice in the base model now, there are more features here. So previously in the base base model, which was a 2.5 model, you, would, you did, not, uh, did not get... Uh, cruise control options, uh, the radio controls on the steering wheel. Uh, it was a little bit more basic. There was no backup camera available and no five inch color display available. It was just a simpler, more just traditional radio system. Now here for the 2018, you have a five inch color display. The camera that I mentioned earlier, you just have to reverse it. And there you go, there's your camera with a distance uh, guidance lane. So kind of uh, avoid a collision too. Aside from that, it comes really loaded for it being a base model it's not stripped of many many features an example you have power windows automatic power window auto auto down power windows all around the vehicle power side mirrors again when some competitors offer manual adjusting uh windows and, and whatnot on the nissan Altima, you actually have all of that uh standard aside from of course those really nice features you also have a lot of convenience features as well um, one of it being the, what Nissan calls the advanced driver's assist display, which is actually controlled by a button on the steering wheel here uh, to show you different information around the vehicle. So it can show you what song's playing, any warnings in the vehicle. So if you have to put, let's uh, say, gas, you left the door open, anything like that, just press the button until you go to the appropriate screen. You'll see here in the warning screen, you'll have the trunk or door is open. Go into the settings. This is where uh, you you can adjust some a couple settings with the vehicle. This one it doesn't actually do much. It shows shows shows, shows you a picture of the car. Uh, but for for 18, you'll start to see that little uh, icon there. What that icon is showing you is letting you know that the automatic emergency braking is actually activated. You can turn it off by going into the settings. I mean, it's not recommending that you do so. I mean, I would see no reason why you want to turn off that safety feature. But if you did want to, of course, you could turn it off in the settings. Now, moving on from all of this, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. You can see you have audio controls. You can actually put the volume up, volume down, uh, change, your preset, uh, change your presets through here, change the source through here. Uh, you're able to answer your phone call and the phone call with uh, connecting your phone to Bluetooth. Now, speaking of Bluetooth, uh, you're actually able to uh, listen to your music wirelessly. Just press this media button until you get to Bluetooth audio. Once you actually have your phone connected and your Bluetooth on, you can listen to Pandora, iHeartRadio, any sort of audio source that you have in your phone, tablet, anything that connects to Bluetooth. You're actually able to uh, 
listen to it to the to the six uh, six speaker audio system in the Nissan Altima. Now, one small little feature you might not notice it uh, in the uh, right away, but you will start noticing once you start driving, especially especially if you drive a lot of hills. Uh, on the base model, you have what Nissan calls Hill Start Assist. So if you're sitting on a hill and you let go of the brake, it'll actually hold the brake for two seconds while you move your, your foot from the brake to the accelerator to make sure that the vehicle doesn't actually roll back. So it's, again, little small things that Nissan includes in the vehicle that really make the, uh, the biggest difference once you're actually owning the vehicle for a very long time. Now, speaking of owning for the vehicle for a long time, uh, you'll start to notice the attention to detail in this vehicle. So you have really nice leather soft touch materials on the door handles, on the door panels, uh, soft touch materials where you would rest your hand normally. Um, and that transfers again to the passenger and the rear passenger door. So again, it feels like a more premium environment. You have a little cubby hole where you can store your phone. So as you're driving, you can actually just plug it into the USB to charge it, set it in there. It's actually incredibly deep. Uh, it might not reflect well on the camera, but Again, it's all for ease of use. Just plug it in, it's right there. You don't have to worry about the cable dragging necessarily very far. Uh, you have a standard air conditioning system. So a lot of vehicles offer, don't even offer that in 2018, but here on the Ultima, you have standard AC temperature controls. You can defrost your rear defrosters. A lot of the, of the basic stuff that you might be used to. Um, standard AM, FM radio system. Uh, again, with the audio controls on the steering wheel, so you can actually put the volume up as you're driving. You don't have to be worried about fidgeting with the radio. You have all of your audio controls here on the steering wheel. So again, it's packaged uh, incredibly nicely to where, uh, again, you feel like a more premium environment here. The, the center armrest is also wrapped in leather with two hidden uh, storage compartments, as well as another uh, little plug right there for your uh, any auxiliary accessories. So 12 volt there and another 12 volt right over there open up a little hidden compartment there now speaking of hidden compartments the glove box is incredibly huge it's almost like a library in there a ton of space uh as soon as you open it up now again one small thing i forgot to uh, mention with the intelligent key is the addition of the push button start so in a lot of vehicles you actually have to uh, go to a more loaded model fully loaded uh, all these options while well, the nissan ultima with nissan's uh, intelligent key uh, all you have to do is just have the key with you inside the vehicle and uh, go ahead just press the brake and the start button that starts glowing go ahead and just press it and you're good to go the, the vehicle starts up like normally would and then you shut it down all you have to do again just press the button and you're good to go now if you don't actually want to turn on the vehicle you actually could just press it once and turn on the accessories mode, which is going to turn on your radio, um, basic features. But if you want to turn on the whole vehicle without actually starting up the engine, just go ahead and press it one more time. And then you'll turn on the drive assist display, all the lights, uh, the warning lights, anything. And then just to get it started again, you can actually press the brake and the button. Or if you want to turn everything off, just go ahead, try off, press the button, and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and turn it on for now. Now, uh, speaking of Bluetooth, um, one cool thing that you're going to start, start to notice if you have a um, an iPhone uh, with Siri, uh, once you actually have it connected to Bluetooth and through USB, you can actually activate uh, Siri's hands-free through the Nissan steering wheel itself. So if you don't want to use Nissan Connect to, Attempting to, connect to, your to do voice commands, anything like that, just have your iPhone hooked up to Bluetooth, press and hold the uh, the talk button, and you'll activate Siri. Connect a compatible so right now we don't have a Siri uh, phone connected. So again, we're not gonna have that Siri, but uh, the advantage of it is that you can actually text people back, call people, use Siri like you would on your, on your phone, ask it questions if you want to. And you have a more intuitive uh, voice uh, commands uh, from your phone operated through the your car so again it provides a more connected uh, environment with your with your phone and your car everything just seems to flow perfectly like i mentioned here in the back you actually have that nice uh, soft touch materials here power windows and everything what i'm showcasing now here is you have standard 60 40 split seating so what that means if you need to put if you need some extra cargo space in the trunk you actually can fold two seats down have one person sitting down still or fold one seat down, have two people sitting down right over there, and 
you're still able to load a lot of cargo. So it provides a lot of flexibility if you don't actually want to fold the whole thing down. Uh, if you still want to sit people and have stuff in the trunk extra, you don't have to worry about leaving somebody out of the equation. Now, speaking of leaving people out of the, out of the equation, a lot of times uh, these uh, mid-sized cars, the reason why people tend to go more for crossovers is simply the, uh, space. Now, in this vehicle, you don't have to worry about that. There's plenty of space here for me about a leg room is abundant, really. I can really stretch out my legs if I so decide to. I do have a lot of headroom as well, so I can actually uh, fit without a problem. So, again, I'm not the tallest person out there. I am a little bit under six feet. But as you can see, comfort is not an issue here. I'm incredibly comfortable. Uh, I can be here for a, uh, a huge trip and not have to worry about uh, being too claustrophobic at all. Now, again, one more feature with uh, safety is, of course, the availability of uh, child locks. So you don't have to worry about the child trying to open the door from the inside. Now, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the trunk. I know a lot of people are probably not interested with that. Again, it's probably not the most entertaining feature about a car, but um if you're using it for cargo if you're using it to load it up if, if this is where you would keep your tools which surprisingly a lot some people actually do use it for that because instead of getting a, a huge pickup truck you get a really efficient force on the car lock up everything in the truck and it's uh you don't have to worry about getting a camper bed or anything so as you can see you have an incredibly huge huge trunk um it's best in class i believe uh, in uh cargo storage i don't know the exact cute feet but Again, keep in mind, uh, with this huge opening, uh, it's easily able to fit a lot of uh, luggages if you really need to. So again, uh, a huge amount of space. You also have a little light there to uh, light up everything, anything that you're loading into the trunk. Again, so in this video, we, we're pretty much covered all of the standard features in the Nissan Altima base model. So if you feel like uh, this is the perfect car for you, you don't need any more options, any more packages, um, make sure to check it out in person, take it for a quick test drive. Uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised to see how quiet, how smooth the vehicle actually is. So that's gonna wrap up our video right there. Uh, if you're interested, what options are available on the base model that we take a look at, make sure to check out the channel where we're gonna go uh, through each package individually. There are a couple packages you can get to this vehicle. One being the convenience package is gonna add a couple little bit more features. Or if you're interested what features you're gonna get if you start going up the, the ladder and trim levels, make sure to check out the channel where we're gonna break through uh, each trim, trim level individually. Uh, trim levels being the S model that we're taking a look at here. SR, uh, which is a more sporty oriented trim level. SV, which is stress above that and the top of the line SL and 3.5 SL, which is six on the version. So again, make sure to check out the channel and subscribe. All right, stay tuned for more videos.